All right. No one is more excited about the 1.1.7 release of Hunchly than me. So I thought I would give you guys a quick little video to show some of the new features that this release has. So one of the things you might notice right away is the fact that there is now a little settings pane right here. And what this will have for now is a domain and page blacklist. So what this will allow you to do, for example, if you don't want to capture anything in your Gmail, or anything, for example, on a personal Facebook account, you can add in a blacklist item. So this is gonna actually prevent Hunchly, anything that's here, from capturing these pages. So no longer will you have Gmail uh, pages captured. And again, if for some reason, in some cases you have to use attributable Facebook accounts, you can put an exact match in. So what this will do is it won't capture that exact URL here, but it will capture anything beyond that. So facebook.com slash Vancouver Canucks, for example, would be captured, but if you were browsing just your own Facebook page, it would not be. So this is gonna be useful for a lot of you who I know either have internal web pages that you don't want captured, or you uh, don't want it seeing some of your emails or other things. So that's gonna be useful, and I know a lot of you are looking for that. Now, another thing you're gonna notice when you're in your case view is that your selectors that you've punched in are actually clickable. So when you click on it, what it's gonna do is actually pull up all of the web pages that has this particular selector hit in it. This is really useful for you because now you don't have to scroll through the history, uh, the case history, looking through all the different pages, trying to figure out where a particular selector was hit. This makes it much easier. Speaking of pages and case history, another new thing you're gonna notice when you actually drive into view a page, you don't see the preview at the bottom. For those of you who are new to Hunchly, you won't see this, but there used to be a preview at the bottom of the screen. Um, the previewing wasn't great, so I decided to do something slightly different. When you click the view page button, what that will do is actually open the page for you in its full form, so you don't have to go through the process of exporting a page and going back again. You can simply just click the view page button here, um, and this also gets rid of kind of the, the previewing problems that we were seeing earlier. So this is a bit of an improvement as well. Now, another thing for those of you that use Multigo, and I'm gonna do a future video and potentially a blog post on this. When you export a case using the full case zip file, um, and again, if this is the first time you've ever seen the case export, it can take a minute or two. So you just wanna refresh this page like so. And now you can see the zip files here. And we're going to download that zip file and if we open it what you're going to see inside is this the name of the case and it's going to say history and it's a csv file so inside this csv file which uh, i don't have microsoft excel installed here but what it does is it breaks down your case history into a csv file and that is going to allow you to view it in Excel or pull it into another tool like Multigo. Some of you might have saw me tweet that out, but you can easily import that CSV file into Multigo. It's gonna show you all the domains that you've browsed and it's gonna show all the pages connected to those domains and then you can begin to run Multigo transforms from there. So these are some of the big features that were implemented in this release of Hunchly. And as usual, if you have any questions or feedback for me, please email me at justin at inspectorhunchly.com.